Animal advocates in New York State want to put an end to puppy mills around the country. There's a bill on the governor's desk they say will help them do that. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran tells us how. Cindy DiBernardo is an animal lover and advocate. Her French bulldog Lilo is just one of the dogs she has cared for that was used for breeding in a puppy mill. They all had some challenges. Like her, the ear infections, the teeth, um, one recently had like a gastro issue, UTI, some are blind. The bulldog I had, her eyes were completely closed because they were so like crusted over. It's not just physical issues. It was our first male dog. She was really scared. She wouldn't walk on a leash. She, you know, didn't know anything because they, they live like basically in cages. To address these issues, Di Bernardo joins other advocates hoping Governor Hochul signs the puppy mill pipeline bill into law. It would stop certain live animals from being sold in pet stores. A dog, a cat, or a rabbit. And the reason for that is because we know that these animals originate from extremely um, horrendous and abhorrent conditions prior to being purchased by that pet dealer. The goal for these advocates is to lessen or stop the demand from these mills. He says some people have expressed concern this law could force pet stores to close. There are models that pet stores can use to sell other um, other types of products, food, um, you know, you name it. They hope Governor Hochul agrees and will sign this bill into law. Iris State Moran, News Channel 9. News Channel 9 did reach out to Governor Hochul's office about the bill. We were told she's reviewing the legislation.